Hey guys, welcome to the third video. In this video, we're going to understand how a crack propagates. Now, this is under this is important for understanding um, the reasons or the mechanisms by which we improve a ceramics material properties. So, if we have um, we take a look at the stress strain diagram again. Um, what we see is that for a ductile metal, like we've seen for a long time, we have an elastic to plastic transition and then fracture. And that was for a ductile material. And if we took a look at the specimen of that ductile material, what we saw is we saw a necked region, and we saw kind of a, a cup, and then on the other side, we also saw another necked region, and we saw a cone. And both this necking right here, and the 45 degree angle from the loading direction, if it was loaded up like this, under stress, the, um, the 45 degree angle from the loading direction tells us that this is a ductal fracture because ductal materials deform through shear. Now, if we take, took a look at a brittle material, with the same elastic modulus, so it would have the same elastic modulus, and then it would just fracture. We wouldn't see this transition to nonlinearity. And so this is a brittle material. And if we took a look at, this, at a sample of a brittle material that fractured, we'd see that there would be no necking, no necking at all, and that the fracture surface, or the, the surface where it broke, under an applied load is 90 degrees away from the loading direction. Now, <clears throat> this tells us that this sample uh, failed under normal stress, particularly under tension. And that's actually how cracks propagate. It's under tension. So if we take a look and kind of do a little bit of a review of the types of stress that we have, the types of stress that we've been introduced to, um, and indeed they're all the types of stress they are, are tension, compression, and shear. Now, tensile stress will open a crack. While compression will close a crack. So, a tensile stress will actually be the reason why a crack opens and propagates, whereas a compressive stress won't open and propagate that crack at all. And shear, we know from dislocation motion and plastic deformation, that it is the, in metals, that it is the primary reason that dislocation motion, called glide, occurs. And so the failure stress for a ceramic is the maximum normal stress in tension. <clears throat> 